In this video, we will connect a Tico SG2 programmable relay to an operator interface using the Modbus RTU protocol on the RS-485 connection. The connection and configuration principles are similar for any operator interface to a Tico SG2. When connecting the SG2 and HMI using Modbus RS-485, the SG2 RS-485 port and iView HMI must be configured for communication. Correct wiring connections and practices must be observed. In this example, we are using a Tico SG2 and iView operator interface. The electrical connection is RS-485. The SG2 will be set up to communicate on the RS-485 port with the client software. The RS-485 port is configured through the programming port. Open the SG2 client software. Select the SG2 model. Select the PC's assigned COM port for linking to the SG2 programming port. Click Link. From the Operation menu, select Module System Set. Set ID is the Modbus Slave Station Number. One is selected in this example. In the Remote I.O. window, select No. In the RS-485 window, select the baud rate. 19.2K is used in this example. The data format is set. Click Set to write the configuration to the SG2. The IMO iView HMI is configured to match the SG2. From the Link selection, right-click Add Link. The Add Link will open. Name the link. The link type is DirectCom. The link device is Modicon. The protocol is Modicon 984 Device Slave RTU. The RS-485 link is COM2 for this hardware. Open the Parameter tab. The transmission parameters must match the SG2 parameters. The PLC address is set at 1. This is the ID set in the SG2. Click OK. Compile and download the project. The HMI and PLC are now configured for communication. This setup procedure will be similar for other HMIs communicating with the SG2 programmable relay using the Modbus RTU protocol. For application notes and videos on the iView HMIs and SG2 programmable relays, Visit our knowledge base.